hope you enjoyed these new features and improvements. We are already working on the next two updates and we'll be sharing more on what's next for Entrated soon. Until then, happy adventuring and we'll see you in the next one. You've fallen behind! Let me tell you a tale about a hero and his pursuit of adventure. Our hero was taking his afternoon stroll in Black Mire. He was intrigued to explore the new land ahead. He never once ran away from a worthy fight. Though today, our hero was seeking the mystery around him, waiting to unfold. Hard point identified. Hostiles have the hard point. Once he had explored his melodic side enough, he began to wonder what else was awaiting him in this new hard land of opportunities. It was nothing point. like what he had seen before. Through the treetops to the city of the ancients. As much beauty Hostiles this place the beholds, danger and peril waiting around every corner. But he was no ordinary man. He was brave and... Oh, come on! Well, this hasn't turned out the way I hoped it would. Go on, you fearless flameborn. Forge your own tale around the mysteries of Blackmire. A dangerous fog corrupts the land. You are Flameborn, the last Emperor of Hope to push back the shroud. Like all heroic Flameborn, you will use your deadly sword skills to slay your enemies. Uh, that is not a sword. Uh, okay, that's not a sword either. Oh, come on, you can't just punch everything. Well, however you decide to fight, Flameborn confront danger head on. Wait, why are you sneaking around? I said head on. Okay, fine. Get it your way. But undoubtedly, all Flameborn are masters of building, building epic castles to show it. Oh, where's the castle? You're meant to be building an epic castle on a hole in the ground. Although, that is nice. Um, okay, so you can build whatever you like. Hard point is secure. Uh, where was I? Uh, yes, Flameborn are explorers who glide over land and sea. Okay, then Flameborn are explorers who grapple over land and sea. Hostiles have the hard point. Ah, now you're gliding. Hard point I down. see. Okay, you're just doing whatever you want. Where are you hard going? Hard point locked down. No, not into the shroud. No way. This boss will squash you. But what's going on here? There's more of you now? Oh, so you're teaming up. Uh -huh. I see. You're all against me. Fine. Play however you want. Your game. From the darkness, awaken. Let the fire in your veins guide you, for you shall have nothing else to survive, no food or comfort, until it is earned. The ones before you were fools. They pillaged the earth for a magical elixir and unleashed a ruinous blight. My newborn flame. Master the staff. The bow. The shield. And the blade. For in 
in the fog. Weakness is a feast for the mighty. Cast yourself into the rude beauty of our world. I lack her secrets. Shape the earth. Dive into the shroud. Seek treasures and ancient wisdom. Build for yourself, for you are not alone. There are others waiting for you to raise a village or a kingdom. Craft arms worthy of legend. Match your skills. Flameborn, call upon your allies and together you take back your crown. We're shooting. Hard point active. Welcome back to the hard point. This is going to be the last video from the Gameplay Pillar series, so let's dive right into survival. I think we can do a question of World Uncharted. You will need to survive in the wilderness amidst the unknown. Archangel making noise. To do so, you will need to gather resources such as rocks, plants, and logs. Honing your crafting skills to create essential items for your daily endeavors. Your first laying your base in the humble beginnings of your future castle. Well, it starts as a Let's do Venturing into the woodlands to gather logs might seem quite easy at first. You need to chop down some trees, gather logs, but in the process, you must watch out for a lively wild. You won't be impressed by your bare fists. The best solution right now is to run away and craft yourself some a trusty wooden club, and come back for some ammo. You can now defeat the wolves, gather experience, good resources, and some raw food. Now, building a first basic shelter is the next important step for survival. Use a workbench to craft a construction hammer and some building blocks. If you want to learn more about building and terraforming in Enshrouded, you can check out the video available in the top right corner of your screen or find the link in the description down below. As we finish the construction of our very first cozy hut, in order to work, you must make sure to craft a hmm, not so bed from the world. You can place it inside and after a half day of work, a good night's sleep is in order. This will give you a rest. Now, the real adventure begins. Finding the blacksmith. There is a bridge that would get us to the vault Our where we might located. find the blacksmith, but unfortunately, it's been destroyed. So we need to go for the vault in order to reach the other side. The shroud has engulfed all of the world and we only have limited time to survive within it until we die. So we have to resurface quickly enough before our time runs out. The remaining time can be seen on the new hot element below our compass. As you are in the shroud, keep an eye on the timer. Protection against the fog won't last forever. Find the hourglass capsules to extend your exploration time and discover secrets Plastic hidden concussion. within the shroud. As we approach our quest location, you stealth with your ally when approaching enemy camps. Finish you may take a sight. different approach at first, but remember, one of the best ways is to sneak around, avoid detection, and surprise your enemies with an attack from behind for extra Muscles damage. The hard point. You've conquered your opponents, gathered loot, and gained experience. Our next step is to learn the secrets of the ancient world. And as a reward, we will be able to set the blacksmith free to join our ranks. Hard point identified. We can now teleport back to our secure. cozy home by using the map for fast travel. After we teleport, it would be the perfect time to expand our house and make sure we have enough space for hard NPCs point and crafting stations. Have the hard point. Now, we have to make sure to give blacksmith a sheltered spot. By giving a roof over your blacksmith's head, you will be able to unlock more crafting recipes. Now, let's upgrade the armor. One of the very first armors that you will be able to unlock is the very fashionable fur armor. Let's go into the woods for some hunting. Hunting becomes an exhilarating challenge. Nothing screams adventure like wielding a bow. Sneak up on those speedy animals named for the head for the critical shots. 
Enemy as you UAV kill the wildlife, you will be able to collect necessary Enemy resources, UAV such as animal fur, raw food, and bones. Now, we need to find a bright campfire point. to enrich culinary skills and cook up a feast of delicious foods. Hard when you cook loaded. food, you have to be careful not to overcook it, otherwise you will be eating charcoal for days, which I can't imagine is good for you. Located hostile this is just UAV. a basic way to prepare food while you Capture menu to see what effects different types of food have on you. You can also see if you are well rested or if there are any Heads negative up. effects Lots such as being cold or poisoned, for example. Our next quest is to explore the elixir well. Let's use that lighter to get there quickly. Now, as you've been leveling up through the game, you will be unlocking skill points to customize your character Bravo as you please. No restrictions here. Mixing match passes and dive to end this fun and remember, you can respect later, so feel free to experiment. Let's start with unlocking the evasion attack. Combining a glider approach towards your enemies with an evasion attack is extremely helpful with not using the unleash to unleash a devastating attack on landing. As an example, you can take a high position by one of the elixir's walls, scout around to see where the enemies are, and once you are ready, drop in on them to unleash a devastating attack. On the approach of the well entrance, those mysterious return beacons for your saving grace. Replenish your time in the shroud and walk next to one if the worst happens. Let's climb down and explore the depths of the elixir well. With bravery and skill, you will face a daunting boss in the well. To do that, you can use different weapons such as swords, axes, and for ranged combat, bows, staff.